All right. We have the seals, well, A seal on the front. Can't forget that one. And then we've got the heat shield in place. We got the keeper out of the center races so it doesn't hold us up or get squished in there all weirdly. And we're supporting back of the center race with a inch and a half socket on top of another one. No press. Putting the bearing together on this Subaru Outback Hub, same as a Forester or any older Subaru style bearing is like this. Pretty much the same across the board. And then I'm using an inch and 5 16 so it fits snug down in there because it's the steps down kind of a little bit. Got three quarter inch socket tree going on here. Let me uh, slap this bad boy together, and also when you're doing this, don't forget to put the C-clip back in on the back side to hold the bearing from coming out. You need to be able to press the hub back into the center races without pushing the bearing out of place. So, there we go. Boy. Let me the camera system around here. <coughs> There's a good point. Come on, camera. Where are we at? Excuse the camera work, people. I'm, uh, working with a phone and a jack stand with a magnet mount. <laughs> Doing what I can for y'all. <coughs> see why the mag camera's messing up a little bit because of that damn magnet mount being not quite in place. There we go. That's a little better. I think I'm forgetting any details to the project here, but <clears throat> yep. And lastly we'll Put this other seal on the back after we're done. Oh, and by the way, I take these bearings apart and I put the marine grease in them to make them last a little bit longer. They only come with a little bit of that white lithium style grease. And shit doesn't seem to last very long in these freaking bearings. So, let's see what we can do here. I'm trying to hold this stuff steady and kind of. Going. Make sure everything's going straight. Not coming side to side or any of that. Yep, it's going. Going nicely, actually. Right. I'm using the side of my hammer to get down on this. It's going in nicely. I like it. Make sure from time to time we're still centered in the bearing area. Keep our pressing the spot on the bottom nice and centered as much as we can so we're not fucking ourselves up. Going. 
check the position on that back race. You can kind of feel it too when it's flat and flush. Make sure and hit it. Generally, when you're doing something like this, once it hits the bottom, you'll feel it. It'll bounce. It looks like we're about there, actually. <laughs> Give it like a couple more just to make sure. Yeah, that's, uh, I don't know if you can hear the difference in the ping in the metal, but it definitely feels like it's bad now. I'm going to give it one more for good measure. Yep. Sweet. She is in. I like it. Alright. Well, the rest of that's pretty straightforward. I got a seal to put on the back and then I can put it back on the car. You guys have it. No press needed.